is up my ninjas i'm striding and today we're looking at the true hero sentinel one attack sub i'm sorry it took so long for me to get to this but i had a backlog that was ridiculous um anyway i got this for my birthday last year my wife and uh little strident picked this one up um it's something i've been looking for a long time and uh I'm really happy to have it um much like the uh ac 130 it's a pretty long you know vehicle you've got a lot of room and it's got a, a decent amount of little play features to add to whatever you want to do with it for me this is going to be a cobra sub uh, i figure if i'm going to give the joe's air superiority let's give cobra all the you know c superiority um but anyway let's get on with the sculpt and the paint okay so, we are looking at the overall sculpt and design of the vehicle, and it's pretty simplistic. It is a sub, it's very long, you can see the windows perfectly set up across, you know, each side of the actual uh, sub body itself. Uh, it's kind of uh, relatively the same length as the uh, AC-130, or what is it called, the AB-115, or uh, Shark, the... Uh, Hercules, the plane. At first, I thought that they were actually the same. The, they pretty much just used the body of the plane without the wings to make this. And it's possible, but when you look at the sculpts, you can totally see that there's a difference. The front of the vehicle, very simplistic, very indicative of what a sub should look like from the front. Not very much going on. And these are things I like about it because, you know, that's the difference between True Heroes versus G.I. Joe, uh, you know, and Cobra. Even though these days that's starting to change because of the Sentinel-1 brand, where they're branching off, giving us real stuff along with more stylized designs. I uh, dig the cockpit area. It's pretty nicely done. It's roomy, which was surprising. I was expecting it to be smaller than this, but you can fit two, maybe three guys in there. And you have transparent windows to show off who's in there. And so they can at least, I guess, look out onto the watery uh, atmosphere of you know the depths of the oceans. Uh, I plan on using this for Cobra because I have a lot of cool stuff for the Joes and I have the, the freaking uh, gunship for the Joes. So I figure here, we'll give this to Cobra. The uh, blue actually, it looks good, and it's it's kind of a frosted color, so it uh, or frosted finish, I'm sorry. So it gives you this kind of effect when you're looking in on the guys, especially if you have the right kind of uh, lighting going on. But it's something that I actually wasn't expecting to work so well, and it works really, Jesus Christ, why did I leave this image in here? Shit. <laughs> I must have, wow, well anyway, I'll just roll with it, this is what you do. Uh, but it, you can see clearly that two guys can fit in there, a True Heroes figure and a Cobra. I'm gonna go in, into that more later on. But on both sides we have twin Vulcan cannons, I like that term. I always picture my stuff kind of semi-Contra-ish, so forever the standard guns on most vehicles will be referred to as Falcons. I also grew up in the R-Type age, and that was something that they used to, you know, refer to often. You've got the uh, entry, the door, on the side, it's got a working latch. If you turn the, uh, you know, the wheel, it actually does what it's supposed to do. I go into that a little bit later. Detailing on this is really nice. The stickers, all the stickers are already on this when you get it, so it's not like some of the older uh, True Heroes, World Peacekeeper, Ch Chapme type stuff where you have to put the stickers on yourself, they're already here. More of the frosted blue windows. I like this. Now there are only windows on, or transparent windows on one side. The other side it's implied with the sculpt and it's not actually filled in with the uh, transparent blue. Periscope area is pretty nice and there's room for a figure. I go into that more a little bit later. Uh, there are lights inside the uh, cockpit. It's pretty nice. There also are sounds. There's a diving sound, there's an alarm sound, 
uh, there's a surfacing sound, I think. Uh, it's hard to tell which is which, but uh, I'm, I'm not really familiar with, you know, subs other than what I've seen in films, you know, Month for Red October, uh, and, and then there's another one, you something or other. But anyway, yeah, sounds are similar. The latch, very simple. When it's pointing at lock, it's locked. <laughs> as long as the arrow is pointing any other direction, the door is actually uh, able to be opened. It is unlocked. It's pretty nice that they actually put that in there. It's a very simple touch. It's something that it's not really necessary because we know we bought a toy. But these kind of touches, they're the little things you can expect from Chad May. And I, I appreciate that. When you have the door down, you reveal the innards of the uh, sub, and you can totally see that the, it has things in common with the AC-130, or AR-115. Anyway, these are the torpedoes that are actually sculpted and mounted onto the vehicle. You do get a launcher that shoots out bigger, softer torpedoes, so you can actually get some action out of your vehicle. I like this because they're using, excuse me, they're using these Nerf-like darts, which is very smart. They'll go farther because they're lighter. They're made out of a durable foam, kind of foam, soft rubber material. So if you shoot your friends or your, your kids, shoot each other with this stuff, it's not gonna hurt them. You know what I mean? I mean, it'll if your eyes wide open, it'll probably hurt if it hits your actual eyeball. But I'm saying like, you know how before it was like, don't point these things at your friends and blah blah blah. This will do a way, uh, this will do a lot less damage, pretty much. And I like the fact that you can store them up top. It's a good design element because it gives you storage for these things. And you could also, if you're not into firing off things, you could pretend that this is where the warheads are. And, uh, you know, you can go through making the action of the warheads firing out of the top of the thing, the way that nuclear subs typically do. It's nice that you have the option, though, to fire them off using the launcher that is given to you on the side of the submarine. Things like this work for me. I, I prefer to actually do the action myself. You know what I mean? I don't need to press a button to do that, but it's nice to, to have it there. The periscope, the little tab sticking out of the front, push that upward, reveal the periscope, raise the periscope and one of the antenna, push it down, you hide it. Very simple. Next to that spot, there's an area where you can put one or two figures. Decals, you have this cool shark, this evil shark decal, as well as other very uh, functional uh, stickers and such, like the lock and the arrow and you know other things like that. When you move this thing, there are wheels on the bottom. It's not meant for you to actually put this thing in the water. When moving this thing, the, uh, we, the fan in the back actually starts to spin, which is pretty awesome. I noticed it by accident while I was actually looking at all the little details and whatnot. And I was pleasantly surprised to see that there was this extra action feature. And this is for a $40 sub from Chap May and not Hasbro. Now we come to the accessory portion. The accessories are pretty simple and straightforward. You have the two figures, and you have the harpoon gun that comes with the diver. I think one is supposed to fill the role of your pilot, whereas the other one is supposed to just be your combat diver. This is your pilot. Very standard. You've seen a similar body packaged with other Chapme figures. I mean, Chapme vehicles, I'm sorry. And uh, this one is pretty good. It's got a little more style to it because that's the way the new Sentinel-1 stuff was looking. This combat diver, though, you've seen a billion times with every aquatic functioned chap made anything, you know? They always have this guy in there. Um, I mean, it's standard. He'll be the guy to get killed first, and you don't have to worry about it. But they have a lot of detail. 
And, you know, I always say this to people who are getting into G.I. Joe and new vehicles or don't know about Chap May. And it's a good thing that Chap May exists because if you want to get a vehicle and you don't give a shit about these regular guys, they always come out as your cannon fodder or your regular people. You know what I mean? These are your regular soldiers. They die in combat and blah, 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 more so than your Joes, which are like your face, you know, lead characters and such. But if you're getting these for kids who don't know the difference, because, you know, G.I. Joe doesn't really have a presence in the store, these are not bad alternatives. They're pretty imaginative as far as uh, looking individual, you know, individualized, I guess. But, uh, you know, they're not a bad alternative. Moving along, the interior very much just like the AC-130. It looks like you have plenty of room. The three seats that are all attached plus the fourth seat that's sitting in front of that console, which you put into that uh, actual, you know, space. I glue mine in. I've been doing that with all of them just because, you know, it just makes sense to me and I also don't plan on ever using it for anything else. Now, how it works with other G.I. Joe figures. I was gonna be goofy and call this section, does a modern Joe fit in it? And I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. But uh, I'm, like I said, I'm using this for Cobra, your eels, your frogmen, your various pilots for aquatic vehicles, they work perfectly with this thing. I was actually imagining this when I first saw the sub on his tank years ago. It was a different type of sub it wasn't 100% like this. It wasn't, you know, Sentinel-1. It was just a standard Chapmay sub. It was all black, no nothing. And I was like, I want Cobra stuff in there. Cobra, you know, uh, aquatic operations experts. So I've got my Rise of Cobra eels, my 25th, uh, actually, I'm sorry, Rise of Cobra eels, and that eel, uh, he's the Mantis sub pilot, and then I have the Frogman from the 50th anniversary. That's crazy. <laughs> um, but uh, they all look really good. You, the weapons work with it. The space works with them having flippers and such. Even though I didn't have the flippers on them, I should have put that there. Uh, the flippers are in the sub, though. Um, there's not a lot really lacking. You have tons of room. You don't really have any reason to not be able to fit a bunch of these guys in here and as you see I only have four guys in here you probably could fit five or six you know what I mean because you have space where guys could stand and be against the wall with the windows you have space after the third guy where you could actually stand up a couple guys you know in there so you could probably fit you know just about 10 guys in there total because you could do the same thing with the gunship which is awesome because you want this to be a aquatic transport and the cockpit as i was saying earlier with that horrible image i gave you guys you can fit two guys in here two fairly husky guys plus you could fit a regular joe f uh, figure or cobra figure i like it i'm i'm really happy with all that so the bottom line it's real simple if you're looking for a sub for your Joes or your Cobras, you don't really have that many uh, options. Either you go and you on eBay, you hunt down G.I. Joe subs, or you go to Toys R Us, you either go to the Animal Planet section or you go to the True uh, Hero section. Both are Chap made products, and you get a sub. I think the Animal Planet side has two different subs, but this one is the better one. I mean, this looks like what we play with. This looks like something we could use for our Joes, you know, have uh, Shipwreck and Wetsuit and uh, what's, what's the other guy's name? Deep Six. Have them all doing their thing, you know, and then use the guys that come with this as the support staff, you know what I'm saying? Or if you want to use Cobra, same deal. You just put a bunch of your eels, your frogmen, uh, you know, your uh, pilots for the Mantis sub, and then here you go you know what i mean it's just real simple or you just fill the the, the hull with uh, uh cobra troopers you know what i mean however you want to do it this thing it, it, it will do the job it'll get it it'll get it done so you know if you see it get it it goes for about 49.9 excuse me 49.99 right now um 
I think that's reasonable, you know, especially for the size of this thing. So anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it, Strident, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace outside.